So here we are on Black Friday, and this is a day I think you've worked your entire life. Um, this is an important day, and it's a big day to tell us a little bit about what to expect this holiday shopping season. Where, where do things stand so far? Well, first of all, uh, it's been a good year for retail. Um, you know, we're, we're on top of a 14% increase in retail sales last year. We're probably going to have another 7% uh, gain this year. So, so overall, it's been, it's been a good year, and we're going to finish these next uh, six weeks strong. So, so I understand, uh, you know, lots of commentary back and forth about waiting and the like. At the end of the day, uh, we'll end up with record sales uh, this holiday season, and, and it will be very strong uh, the, over these next few days between today and um, and and cyber cyber Monday. So consumer still has has money. I mean, this, some of the people you've you've talked to uh, don't, and 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 I, I worry about uh, you know how it's stratified. So the higher household incomes have got plenty to spend. Uh, they're going to spend it on luxury accessories, in my opinion, this year and fragrances. Uh, that middle household income, which is really really critical to us, Becky. Uh, that group, a lot of that group has money too. Uh, 1.6 trillion more than they had in 2019 pr prior to the stimulus uh, relief packages. Uh, so, so there is money to spend. It is dwindling, and it's dwindling fast. Um, but at least for these next uh, six six weeks, there's money to spend. I strongly believe. Just following consumers as I have for most all of my career, they will spend it over the next uh, next five six weeks. Hey Terry, we spoke with Jan Niffen in the last hour, and he gave a pretty interesting analysis, just saying that things are back to normal at this point. It's the last three years that have been completely abnormal and aberration because of COVID lockdowns, then people having money and getting back out. He thinks we are kind of back to normal, where people are the stores are getting back to the right inventory levels, shoppers are getting back to their normal selves. Does that sound right to you? It does. Um, you know, what happened last year, of course, as I said, we had this huge increase last year, and many retailers sort of lost control of the inventory situation. They were desperate. Sh shelves were empty, if you remember, and people was, were sold out of, of, of key products. So they doubled down and were ordering from multiple sources, and we got burned. Uh, we had too much inventory. And in some cases, those retailers are still working that through. Uh, that's bad news for those retailers in terms of short-term earnings. It's good news for consumers because they have to get rid of this inventory, Becky, by the end of this year, and so there there are going to be sales by a lot of the a lot of retailers uh, who are who have too much inventory. If their if their inventory is up fifteen or sixteen percent going into the fourth quarter, and their sales are forecast to be flat or, or down or up two or three percent, they got a challenge on their hands. And because at, starting January one, there's no you know the, the the rate of sale is diminished so much. That, that you, it's almost impossible to get rid of big lumps of inventory after the end of the year. Mm -hmm. so, so there's motivation on the part of retailers, and that'll be good news for consumers.